Good morning from the eastern end of uh, Morecambe Promenade. This is Tony Simon for Triple M on a beautiful summer's September misty morning. And not any old uh, September summer's misty morning. It's the 9th of September 2023. The month of September is, uh, for those to whom it applies, the month of recovery. It's for people who have uh, recovered or are receiving help and treatment with any kind of uh, addiction uh, that has been brought on in their lives. Hence, the Well 5K for the Bay Recovery Run that was born. It's been going for a few years. This is the 2023 edition. The scene that you just saw there is the registration session and as you can see it's no ordinary registration session let me just show you this again there's some live music from uh, a samba band playing at the moment well not right at this moment they're having a quick break but just look at this refreshments on hand in case people feel they need it beforehand here's one of the runners are you ready for some serious running sir <laughs> what made you want to do... What's your name, by the way? I'm Stefan. I spoke to you a few weeks ago. You did indeed, yes. Yeah, yes, yeah. you came and saw us during our uh, our little Morecambe Community Runners. Indeed. Guess your top ten at ten with Mr Nevin. That's right. Yeah. I, I'm sorry I didn't recognise you. No, that's and, right. unless I, unless I Unless it's because I... Uh, I've got different glasses on. Have you, have you dyed your hair? Is it darker? No, it's just the way it is. Right, it okay. It just does the same thing. I think I'm probably okay. I, I'm I, in a sports kit today. I wasn't last time. Yeah. All oh, right, okay. I, 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 I seriously didn't recognise you. That is not like me. That's right. It, it must be. get away as well. It, so, to be honest. Congratulations. How much? Uh, just under a stone. That's, that's brilliant. Three weeks. In, in, the, in the space of three weeks. Yeah. Uh, there are going to be people who uh, are watching this now and, and just heard that, and they're going to say, what's your secret? Are you going to disclose it? Um, I was just eating too much before. So it's not the healthiest thing. I've gone to ready meals, but it's the portion size. Yeah. So, and I've been keeping to it all right, actually. Sometimes that's the thing, isn't it? Depending on how you're built, it's not necessarily what you eat and, uh, you know, how much of it you eat. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I was eating too much. So it's one of them. I was fueling for runs I wasn't doing anymore. Running much shorter distances and not burning it off. So it's my own fault. Well, you're part of Morecambe Community Runners as well. Yes. What does being in this recovery run mean to you personally? Any special connection? Or did you I just would, fancy it? I would have to say, no, it's just support for Stuart. It's support for Joe, who's one of the organisers there who, who we spoke with. She is. Um, and just, you know, it's like anything. The, as I said to you, everybody's running the same race. Everyone's doing the same distance. So everybody is absolutely equal. There is no difference between you if Sir Mo Farrah turns up or if you've literally, you've come out of a terrible recovery situation and you're just about going to do it if you can. Um, or like Dom over there, he's, you know, who will likely be last, but he's out and he's doing it. Uh, 28 or 29 stone or not, you know, but he's coming to it as well. So it's just, you know, it, it, it's, a fanta it's, it's fantastic what they do. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just here to support everybody and, you know, run with everyone. Well, that's the main thing, isn't it? It's not a race, it's a community run, it's the taking Absolutely. part of the masses. It doesn't matter where you come yes. in terms of uh, finishing up. Yeah, you just you just be your best self, right. you know, and encourage others to do that as well. So. Right. Okay, it's great to see you again. And you. This yeah. is Stefan number 118 in now the, the moustache, in the, the world 5k. Oh, sorry, uh, other other things are available. That's the other reason I didn't <laughs> recognise him. You see, it only, it only it only takes a razor blade with me, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, the, uh, the the sheltered life that I lead. Uh, great to see you. Have a great time. I'm going to go and find Joanne, but it's it's, it's yep. great to see you again. Have you got your Have you got your good lady with you today? Is no, Stacey? She's working today. Oh, what a shame! What a shame! Yeah, she's got out of it. Yeah, and what a shame! <laughs> didn't Mo Farrah didn't turn up either because this could have been his last actual race instead of the one he's just done elsewhere in the country. Oh. Never mind. It's not the end of the world. He's going to do Great North Run tomorrow, so fair enough. He is. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll let him off just this once for that. Um, 
Thank you, Stefan. Go and get in position, have a great time. I, I said to him, go and get in position, because you might have heard uh, just now an announcement in the background that registrations are just about to close. So I'm just going to go and find Joanne at uh, the, um, the uh, Well 5K uh, employee, the Well Communities employee. If ever you need them, by the way, it's 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 a great open door policy you can just drop in and have a brew it's in the west end community center uh, as well communities on the corner of regent road and westminster road the building that's attached to the church there it's open during normal office hours nine to five just go in have a sit down talk to somebody start making arrangements if you feel you need somebody to talk to, particularly about any kind of uh, addiction uh, that you, you know, might be suffering from, uh, whether it be, you know, substances, alcohol, anything you feel they can help with, they will. And if they can't help you directly, they've got some magnificent contacts and will certainly put you in the right direction in terms of referral. Are you all ready for some serious running? There's the man himself over there. I wonder if he'll uh, walk this way. No, he's going over that way with the starting flag. All right, guys. He's been looking forward to doing that all morning. To the recovery run, the Bay 5K. It's absolutely amazing to see so many faces here today. It's absolutely fantastic. And I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic to see everyone. Yeah, first of all, I just want to thank everyone who's put this together. Joe leads and on this with all the team, seeing all the well guys here. Loads of love. And all this gang who trains everyone and put people through the paces. He keeps trying to headlock me, but. I've got arthritis so in my knee, so I can't, I can't do it, but I'll be cheering you on. Yeah. <laughs> we can share it. Uh, but it's great to have this visible recovery. It's recovery month, and it's important that we showcase that recovery as possible, uh, that people can and do recover and live a life beyond your wildest dreams. Because if you look around, we've got plenty of people here now. Have we got a different mic? Here? It's just... Just give it a tap. There you go. Um, we've got plenty of people around who are years clean, who have been on the brink of death and are now clean and showcasing that recovery as possible. Um, and there's many people that never made it and we're all being touched by people that have not come through um, and not made it sadly. And that's family members, my family members. But the reason why... Sorry guys, I'm going to skip that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The reason why I talk about my stuff, the reason why I go on social media and talk about my recovery, because I was in addiction for 25 years and never knew recovery was possible until I had to go to prison to see someone get well. So I don't want people to go to prison to see people get well. I want to see it in our streets and we should be loud and we should be proud that we're in recovery so it's absolutely fantastic for showcasing this guys and I just want to hand you over now to our mayor and Roger and his wife and to say a few words so Roger over to you my friend. Thanks everybody for attending it's, it, it touches my heart and Dennis as well you know where we've been we've gone through some of this we know where we're coming from we all hope that we're all going to get where we want to go to but I think the most important thing is there are people that we've lost along the way. And because of that, I'm going to ask you all to join with me because I'm also Armed Forces Champion as Mayor. And it, it is a lot of those in the military that have had exactly the same problems. So we know what we're trying to deal with. 
we know what we've got to try and recover from. But I'm going to ask you to do it in the traditional way of giving a minute's silence for all those that haven't made it to this day and to pray that we all go on and meet again next year and are all clean for one more year. Thank you and a minute's silence if we may. Thank you. Thank you guys, well done. What a poignant moment that was. And, and, and try to look and, uh, and fail miserably at it. Good luck to you all and have a great day. Thank you. Someone's going to come and do the war movie, you know, guys. Okay, stay where you are, guys. Everyone just want to just come back. Ten feet or so, but stay inside as we're going to do a big warm up for Emma. So, a big round of applause for Emma, who's come to do our work, guys. You know, it's all about getting involved, it doesn't matter if you can't do the moves. And, and no, no and pictures of the hair falls flat in his face. There's Emma that uh, Stuart was just talking about there. You might recognise her, Emma Clayton, the uh, former Zumba teacher, also these days working at uh, Well Communities. They put the music on and get back into her old mode of getting people warmed up and ready for this Well 5K Communities run. Go on, Emma, show them how it's done. Get back into it. It goes electric, baby, when I turn it on. Off from my city, off from my home. The lighting up your ceiling. Hey, even the mayor's joining in. Look at this. Now I mentioned a misty morning and it still is at the moment, but look, this is bringing the sun out through the clouds. It's going to burn away soon. They're still warming up at the moment. The uh, start of the race won't be too far away, but I've just been coloured before the race starts in all the right ways. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick chat with this gentleman here who is actually at the um, Well Recovery's uh, stall. Uh, that is here today, uh, representing the cause, alongside everything else that's going on here. Yeah. What's your name, sir? My name is James Campbell, um, former resident of the Well Communities. Yeah, I am. Um, and what, what's, your, what's your personal connection to all of this and being involved in it? Because everybody's got one here today. My personal connection and being involved? Well, I'm now a member of staff. Um, however, I... Uh, if I wasn't here today as a member of staff, I would have been here as somebody in recovery to uh, celebrate recovery, Tony. Yeah. Which is what we're all here I'm for. I'm recovery myself and uh, oh, I have a good life today. Yeah. Look at this. It's amazing. I know. Yeah. Well, I, I, we've, we've, we've just been running the camera around. What, I mean, what, what, what an absolute day. Over there. They're warming up to Morecambe's favourite party tune at the moment, Proud Mary. Uh, a song around here that's used for anything, karaoke, yeah. warm-ups. Oh, no, it's, uh, 
Well, look, rec carnival processions, rec recovery, recovery celebrations. Recovery is possible. It is, yeah. Recovery is possible and the possibilities are endless. Yeah. 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 You sounded very emotional when that was coming out, yeah, so it obviously yeah, yeah. means a lot it to you. Uh, but uh, whilst, uh, whilst we're here, whilst we're here, um, you're also um, promoting a special book uh, yeah. to do with the uh, to do with the subject. And uh, well, this was wrote. And this is it. This is it. Rat Park to Rat Hell: The Core Conditions of Recovery and Manifesto for Change by our founder, CEO of the Well Communities, David Hyde. Who is over there now, filming the, uh, filming the rest of the, uh, the warm-up runners this morning. Yeah. Emma Clayton, come here. That must, that must have felt like yesterday for you, doing all that again. in this heat. <laughs> I still do it, but not as often. Not as often, all right. Well, it's, it's, it's great to see you in action. You, you look like you hadn't stopped. Oh, right. Uh, well, uh, well, well done. Well, maybe an alcoholic beverage. Yes, 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 you do that. You set, yes, you, you, you need it. You need it. Um, t talking of knees, the uh, the ambulance service are over there in the hope that they won't be needed today. Stuart Nevin of More Computers he Runners is going to honk his horn to start it. The mayor has got the better job of flying the flag to start it all. As everybody starts to uh, think about getting in position. Hey, look! It's the back of Joan Iris with her with her t-shirt. And I, I finally got to collar her before before yeah, before she starts the race. And uh, well, it's not a race; it's a it's a community run. But uh, we, we we haven't got long, so I mean, the amount of years this has been going on, uh, a special year for you, celebrating your twelfth year in recovery. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was twelve years in in July. Um, this is the fifth recovery run that we've done and we've had more people register today than ever so it's an absolute outstanding turnout um, you know for the community reducing stigma raising awareness being loud and proud you know people are back into employment they're on the journey but most of all they're taking care of the health as well and thankfully to Morecambe community runners you know, we filtered our group into theirs, so they're actually left with a legacy at the end of this race. It's not that everything ends, it continues. They've got connections with people, they build friendships, which improves the well-being and obviously the fitness. So, an incredible turnout. Thank you. We've got uh, your, your dad and uncle here today, which yes. I know will mean a lot to you because this will be a day that... Uh, your great mum's looking down on you. That yes. was one of the causes that put you where you were in the first place and led you to do what you're doing now. I mean, we lost mum a year ago, um, and they've always come to this event. You know, my family have been great supporters of the work that we do, and obviously being somebody that's in recovery, um, from eating disorders and, and substance misuse, um, they will always come down and support it. Dad's down here today with my uncle Stephen. Um, mum, I am sure, is with us in the ether. I can feel, I can always hear her. So, you know, we, we did have a moment of silence for the people that we've lost, so obviously, for me, Mum's yes. right up there. And yeah. a very, very dear friend of mine that took his own life this week, so it's quite bittersweet today. And for a change, she won't be looking down on you and saying, what on earth are you doing? No, and she'll say, don't fall again, Joe. <laughs> I've had three falls in the last six months, so no more falling. Right. But listen, I need to go. Yes. I've got to make my way over to the stage. Just one thing very quickly. Uh, we know where we're starting from. Yes. Uh, it's a 5K. Where's it going to end up? Exactly where it started. We're going to do a loop all the way round. There's going to be chariots of fire playing as everybody comes across. So just over there, opposite the town hall, we will finish. Everybody gets a medal. Jobs are good. Thanks for joining us. Get in place. Thank you. All right. And uh, we'll follow them some of the way down and some of the way back and catch them at the finishing line. Up goes the flag from the mayor. Off goes the horn from Stuart, and away they go. The samba bands that are here in the background heralding the start of this as well. Look at that. What a scene. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. See the blue. Heading along the parade. Well, purple. It's not even blue, is it? It's purple. 
whilst we're waiting for the runners to come back, we thought we'd share a little bit of this with you, the uh, live music entertainment that's been laid on today, before, during and after the race from the Suco Samba Band. They've come all the way from Blackburn to be here today to do this. I can feel a slight raindrop here and there while this is going on, but that's not going to bother any of us today. by the conductor and lead drummer. There she is. started to make their way back. So cross the line, here they come. They've been holding the finishing flag this time and uh, Emma Zama, Zamba Clayton because she's been back in that capacity today calling out the finishing instructions as the runners make their way back. How are you Tony? You right now? How are we doing Stu? Good, what? we've just got our first three running through. Our first one was just over 18 minutes. Second one was 19 and number three was um, 19 and a half and first female was 20 minutes. Because I'll do it the quick this morning. The quickest ones we've ever had. And what a turnout and what a day for you. The latest one in succession. A joint effort between more community runners and well communities. What a turnout, what a result. Fantastic, fantastic. You know, and it's just you know good to see the turnout from the recovery community and also the wider community and just coming together to celebrate recovery in all its forms, you know, so, yeah, what more can you ask for? And it's all down to people like you, even though you don't like to take the credit for it, you deserve it. Oh, well, I'll let you yeah. get back and go and catch some more finishes with that flag, because we've got some more coming. Cheers, Tony. Here we go. Thank you. And once they cross the finishing line, they are presented with a medal and some water by these lovely people here. Look at those medals to be handed out. That gives you an idea of just uh, how many people took part in this this year. Replenishment supplies on hand there. Here's someone who's earned his lie down. Well done, sir. Congratulations.
with Fleetwood himself, obviously deservedly so. And a reminder, or in case you didn't catch it earlier, the first one back did the 5K in 18 minutes. Thanks for watching. Well done, everybody. Yeah.